Hey everybody, this is David McCree, CPA, and uh, I would like to show you today a little something that you can do in Excel that will help you out. A lot of times, um, if you're working with a set of transactions, it could be just um, financial transactions from a bank statement, or it could be uh, a trial balance like I have here on the screen. And, and it, if you get it, maybe from your accounting software and you export it to Excel, you may end up with something like this where you have your, your debits in one column and your credits in another column and they're all expressed as positive numbers. Uh, this makes it hard to do operations with if you need to um, sort or if you need to put them into in some sort of a summary like uh, like I, I teach in my course on bookkeeping with Excel. So what we really want is we want it we want to see it in this form. You see where we have um, both the debits are, and credits are combined into one column and the credits are actually negative numbers and the debits are positive numbers. Okay, so this is typical double entry accounting type of uh, presentation. So how do we get how do we get from this to this? Well, it's actually very simple. Okay, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, just to the left of the debit column, and it doesn't really matter where you do it, this is just one way, uh, you're going to highlight um, the column with the debits. You're going to uh, right click on that column with your mouse and you're going to insert Okay, so you inserted a, a new column. And in this column, in uh, column D, we are going to put a formula right here in this cell uh, on the first row. And the formula is going to look like this. We're going to hit the equals key and that, that tells Excel that we're going to put a formula in. And uh, we're going to highlight uh, cell E4, so equals E4, and then we're going to hit the minus sign, okay, so minus, and then we're going to click in the F4 cell, and then we're going to hit enter. So this is going to be, we're going to take whatever is in E4 and subtract F4, okay. So in this case, 1000 minus 0 is still 1000, so 1000 appears. Uh, in the, in the new column. Now what we're going to do is we just want to copy this formula all the way down to all of our transactions. So we're going to just um, take our little cursor here which is a plus sign. We're going to hold it on that uh, lower right corner of that cell till it changes to a little cross or I guess from a cross to a plus sign and then we're going to left click and then just drag that formula down. You could also copy and paste. That would be fine. So now what you're seeing in the new column is we have our debits and credits all appear in the same column and the credits are negative and that's exactly what we wanted. Okay. So we've got that much done. The only problem is these, um, if you look up here, this is, this displays what's in the cell. These are all still formulas. Okay and they're referencing um, these, the cells in these two columns. Well, we don't want them to be formulas. We just want them to be um, values, okay? So we no longer need columns E and F. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight our new column. We're gonna right click on it and we're going to click on copy. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to paste it right over our debit column. Uh, but we're going to paste it in a special way. Okay, so we're going to highlight where we're going to paste it, the debit column. We're going to right click on the, that column. And then we're going to come down here to paste special. See that? Paste special. So we're going to left click on that to choose that. And then here under paste, we're going to click values, okay? Because what 
all we want to paste are the values. We don't want the formulas to get pasted. So now we're going to click OK. All right. So now this is this is what we want here. We don't need this column anymore. So we can right click and uh, delete that column. We don't need the credit column anymore. So we can, I'm sorry, we're going to left click on that and then right click and choose delete. And then we're done basically. Uh, and what we can do here is we can sum this to make sure we got everything. So I'm just going to come up here to auto sum and it sums to zero which tells us that our debits equal our credits and so we're in balance and so this is this is how um, this is how you go from from this to this right? and now you can do sorting operations with it or you can do anything you want um, and if you if you take my course uh, on bookkeeping with Excel, the basic bookkeeping for Excel, you, this is how I start with all my transactions uh, in this form. So if you're not in that form, you'll need to get in that form. And so uh, my course is at uh, nonprofittaxhelp.podia.com. And if you scroll down, you can see all of my products. And um, here, bookkeeping with Excel, you can view the product. And um, it explains about what, what it is, this basic bookkeeping using uh, Excel worksheet. Um, and these are all the videos. And you can actually preview the first video there, and which is just 13 minutes. And uh, you know, it tells you what the contents are. Hey, this is David McCree, CPA. Okay. So I hope that's, uh, I hope that's been helpful to you. I'll see you in the next video.